At least you have CC for Tran. Yeah. It's not the worst matchup. But I feel like Tran, a good Tran, I feel like is pretty hard. I think Tran is kind of a skill heavy matchup though, honestly. I think if you fall behind against Tran, the matchup gets insanely difficult because he can easily dive you with his ulti. But if you don't fall behind against Tran, I feel like it's pretty skill heavy. I'm taking a really risky pathing. Just gonna scout this out a little bit. Is your playlist pub public? It is, yeah. If you go to my YouTube channel and you go to like, I think the title is like favorite. You go to my playlist tab. It's like favorite gaming OSTs, I think is the title. This song is from StarCraft. StarCraft 1. One of my favorite games of all time. Nice, we got his bone plate too. Try to zen him off that mage. Oh, they changed their focus though. First blood. Gonna try to zen him off XP a little bit. I, want to see their faces I should be doing a better job at zoning, but also trying to last hit. It's a little bit tricky sometimes. What do they got, Graves Jungle? Pretty fast clear. I think we'll go for a callback here. I want to get out of the Graves gang. Let my jungle know I want to go for the callback. We could also have we could have also invaded into the top side. Surprises blues up. What the heck? Uh, that's really weird. We saw the Graves show somewhere. Guess he just skipped out on the top pathing. Oh, so unlucky. That was a good try. That's just unlucky. Kind of letting me freeze a little bit here. If we get this thinned down, it's pretty good. Might be able to go for a jungle gank on him. Trying to do a pretty good job of just zoning him off creeps. I accidentally just misclicked my R. I'm glad we don't have that skilled yet. Whoops a daisy. But yeah, this is kind of what you want to do against Trin. Just don't let him farm, at least pre six. Level six is where the matchup gets pretty tough, in my opinion. Until then, it's not too shabby. He's so scared, yeah. If you notice, everybody's like pretty scared when I play on my main account lately. People in Masters really respect their guy in the early game. Especially if they play a melee champion, they just give farm. But as you can see, we're 41 to 22. And he is gonna get a decent chunk here, but we're still gonna be like five or 10 up. Probably get a plate here as well. If he autos me, it's really good. Because those minions will uh, turn on him. 
The one thing we gotta be worried about is a jungle gank right now. Kind of just taking my chances. Might be able to run out with the flash exhaust. He wants to trade with me right now, but he has to go for creeps. Try to space him out a little bit. The big thing right now is I don't want to EN because he has ulti. I want to use my E for just kiting. I want to just push for a plate right now. If he spins on me, we'll fight it. Just really want to play kite heavy. Q heals are crazy, man. It's about 200 every time. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling a jungle gank here. He's going to start out sustaining me, though. This is where it gets kind of tricky. And Schneedle, thank you for the prime sub, dude. I appreciate that. Sometimes mess up the pull of the grinder in this matchup. Yeah, the timing is tricky. That's a big part of the matchup. Try to play like top side of the lane right now in case we get ganked. The nice thing is we got an early call. So I already got this halfway cashed in. And he's still on V-Shield. So this is really good. Being up like 10 to 15 CS with a call man on Urgot. Actually massive. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get some steel caps. Oh, I'm gonna lose the plate. There's no way I can stay for that though. It's gonna mess up my back time. He'll guess me down and kill me if I go for that. Mm, I want to get damage right now. I'm going to go Titanic over Ravnus though into Trin. I don't like Ravnus against Trin. I want to just have the HP to tank out his ulti. But I think we'll probably go Cleaver because I want to get Long Swords right now. So probably like a cleaver jack show. Might even go to, into like Sterax third and just skip out on Titanic for now. Get it later on in the build. An enemy has been slain. Shut down. If I see their jungle show somewhere, I might go for the all-in. It's just kind of tricky when he has ulti, though. It feels like he's so safe in this match. Yeah, he's ready with those spins, man. This guy definitely knows the matchup pretty well. I think the hardest thing about Urgot when people know the matchup is like trying to get a kill on this champion. Because I think Urgot's just like pretty easy to play around. That's what keeps Urgot balanced. This kit is really avoidable. Mm, 
I don't know, dude. We could just go for the Shelly, maybe. Maybe pull him out of tower, but he's going to have ulti to stall. I want to get some plating gold here. Oh, I didn't get the plating gold. That's going to be a rich Skarner, I guess. I was too scared to walk up a little bit more. It is Rem and Bot. What if we try to gank with Skarner? Let's go on Krogs, never mind. I really want to fight this guy, but he's so scared. This should be good. I'm going to save my uh, E for the Flash. Oh, man. Got him. Oh, it auto pulled. Nice. Good blocking by the Skarner there on the Graves. I had a little bit of a mechanical mess up. But thankfully it worked out good. Skarner played that well. The exhaust was really nice there just to slow him down. So we could catch up pretty easy after the flash. We stay for the coal cash in. Nah. It's way too risky. It's tempting, man. It's tempting. But I think I'll die for sure. I've actually I've died twice like that recently. So I don't want to get baited again by that. Just sticking around for that extra like two minions for the coal cash in, and then you die. So the thing that actually happened to me there, there is a bug where when Trin goes to like 1 HP, or like around 1 HP, it just goes for the auto pull. The thing that happened to me there is I pressed my R. If you press your R while you have like the grinder just sitting on them, once they get low enough, it'll auto pull. Like it queues up your pull. So that's what happened to me right there. I was spamming my R too much. I don't know if I explained that in a in a way that made sense. It's kind of a weird thing to explain. But yeah, if you throw your ulti on somebody and you press it again, like before they get to the threshold when they can be pulled, right when they get to that threshold, it'll pull them in. But only if you press R twice, or like press R again. So sometimes it's good to not do that against Tran. Oh, this should be good. Just gonna wait on it. Pulling back super far. Perfect. It's always good to pull him back as much as you can away from the tower. And also just buy more time. We did kind of like a surprise E right there as I was auto attacking. So it kind of concealed my my E animation a little bit. If he doesn't spin react on my E, we'll, we'll just kill him every time at this point. I don't really have anything to chase, but maybe. Got the key, that should be a kill, or a flash. If I fight in the way with exhaust, we might be able to win. Nah, I need to... I should have kept running. Yeah, I should have kept running. Alright, it's fine. Let's get a Wardens, and then we'll go into... Probably just Jack Show, right? 
Jack Show is really nice against Tran. Sounds good to me. Exhaust is so nice here. Yeah, it's actually crazy good. It's good against Tran. It's good against everybody else on their team, too. Like, if Vex ever jumps in, which most likely she will be in a team fight, I can also exhaust her combo. I was hoping that Skarner would go for the pull, actually. I should have pinged my ulti. I should have communicated that a little, a little bit better. It's kind of assuming that he knew I'd, I would want to go for the ulti. For a little rotation here. Maybe just try to snipe somebody. Let my team know I want to snipe. Maybe they can just chunk him down a little bit. Wow, nice. They got the Nami too. That's a great team fight. We have a really nice team comp. Really good match to have like a slow game T for the Cassadin. Just stacking up his rod. Ergot ulti is basically a blitz key in this matchup. Yeah, pretty much. If anything. Can always just use it to pull him over. What a way to die, man. We are just controlling the map right now. I might actually just get a top here. I'm kind of feeling, feeling like that's better. I'll be surprised if Trin keeps splitting. Yeah, he dipped out of there. I don't even know if I need to get top push. We might just go straight to drag. Uh-oh. ADC down. I think we can 4v5 it. Cass is really fed. Everybody's pretty fed. Dex no ulti as well. I really like playing versus Nami, by the way, because you can always e for the bubble and the wave like pretty easily. And uh, e buffering the bubble like really catches people off guard. A lot of the time, pe people like preemptively throw their abilities where the Nami bubble is gonna land. So then you buffer and you just dodge everything. Like you get out of the stun and you just dodge everything because they throw it where the bubble is. Go match the trend. That's my job right now. You got a fully stacked Ravnus Hydra. The thing is, though, I think I can just burst him down if we actually land E. Landing E is the tricky part. Oh, he's got teammates if he's turning back in. Whoa. 
that animation with the Skarner is trying to like pull him back to the Skarner. I've actually never seen that. Clean game, dude. GG's. Kind of like that Skarner, man. The whole team was good, but I like the Skarner plays. I welcome you. Dang, 15k damage. Not bad, dude. I'll give this guy an extra shotgun because I'm doing a pretty tiny leash. Because we got to go around this way since he's probably sitting in the try. I'm not messing with a Darius early game, dude. Wow, nice. He's not going to D-Shield. We can maybe poke him down a little bit. I don't want to let him get 5 stack. He might have went E-second. Oh, never mind. He went W. That's like a 25 second cooldown. Ah, oh, that's a bad eat. Okay, next E, we're going to go all in. Oh, dude, he dies. Wow, nice. Big mess up by him. I was about to E flash, too, right when my E was about to come on cooldown or off cooldown. We got to try to push here. Dude, I think Hecarim's topside, too. Let's just go for it, though. I'll save my E. Still on the buffer. I think we're okay though. Wave's kind of bad, but at least we don't die. I knew Hecarim would be top side. I'm gonna do Ravenous second or third this game, by the way. I'll go Cleaver first. I feel like Ravnus is kind of risky against Darius. I wasn't really liking it, even before it got nerfed. So after the nerf, I don't really want to try it. This is the only truth that matters. Hey, welcome in, Menace. Welcome in, Captain Kid. Hello, hello, everyone. Hope you guys are having a good day so far. He's punching the keyboard right now. Yeah, I'd be getting a little bit tilted. He's in a pretty good spot though until I get six. Well, by good spot, I mean he could still kill me. If I mess up, he could definitely still kill me. He doesn't have flash, but he still has gifts. So I don't really want to play at his tower right now. And he's got the level lead because my wave didn't really play out that well. So even though we got the kill, it's actually not too bad for him in terms of XP. Oh, he's got a jungle gank too. I'm dead. 
There's no way out of this one. Yeah, I should play really safe right there. Man, the Hecarim has ghosts too. Alright, I appreciate it, Menace. Dang, nice. A new order. Chaos. We have a really damage heavy team comp, dude. I'm definitely gonna go Jack Show this game and try to be a little front line. Because we got so much damage. I mean I'm kinda I'm going Jack Show like pretty much every game, honestly, but. I think it'll be really good this game, just a front line. Hmm, wave's gonna end up in a bad spot again. Let's just try to push. It's not a cannon wave, thankfully. If I get six, he can't fight me, because we have Ignite. I mean, he can try to fight me, but I have a chance to win it, I should say. Need to try to get his bone plating off first. Since we had that Ignite on him, dude, that Q literally healed nothing. That's so nice. The extra damage in the heal cut is just so nice in this matchup. If you guys struggle with Darius, I highly recommend trying Ignite, man. I, I really think that's like the sole thing that changes the matchup. You ban Hecarim if your jungle doesn't play him? Hecarim's insanely good right now. That's a good ban. I just don't like playing versus Fiora. But if I were to ban a jungler, it would be Hecarim for sure. Hmm, maybe I should have went for a back. I was thinking I'm still really healthy so I can stay, but... I don't know. I have a lot of gold. Maybe I should have backed. Ekrim was mid, but I didn't see how low he was. I should have checked. Need to get better about that, just like reading the map. I feel like that's something as a top laner that uh, you don't really have to work on that much. Wow, this is really greedy. This should be a kill. I wonder if Ekrim's here. Got a really good angle on the grind, dude. Dude, we're running out of damage. Ooh, nice. Bit of a panic flash, but I don't know. That was sketchy, man. Wasn't about to take the chance. I had no mana for E. Yeah, I was going to say, though, uh, something that top lane kind of holds me back on is like looking around the map and gathering info. So I noticed that when I play jungle, like I don't really tab around too much and look at stuff. I was watching Blippo play jungle the other day and like he's just like, as he's doing his camps, he's like getting all these info from lanes and stuff. Like I need to get better at that. Even on top lane, if you show the, if, if you see the jungle show somewhere, it's nice to, uh, like, see how low they are, see the pathing they take, you know? Like, I saw Hecarim show mid, but I didn't see if he pathed up into the river, like, down into the river, how low he was. It's good to keep track of all that. I just feel like in top lane, you can, like, get away without doing that, because, like, you don't really need to do that in a lot of games. But it's kind of good to, like, build that foundation and build the habit. Hecarim got Shelly, so I gotta be really careful now. Also, we're coming up on level 9, so I kinda wanna just chill until then. Get all in once we get level 9 if I see Hecarim. Oh, he's actually bot side. Alright, we can try for something here. Yeah. 
really important to drop that ignite super early in the fight. Just get the full damage value out of it. And if he tries to go for a Q heal, we just cut the healing. That's a huge kill, dude. Look at this wave he misses. We know Hecarim's bot side, so it's a really good time to fight there because nobody can cover for him. And I can greed for plates. I think that's good enough. I don't know where their mid is either. Don't want to risk it too much. I should get a little bit more mana back, actually. Oh, is he going to drop Shelly? Yeah. I think I can save Tower, at least. I guess he just wants some plating gold. This is actually really good. It's good he's not using that mid. Alright, see you later, Alex King. Yeah, I really like the Darius land. There was a time where I didn't like it. And then I finally figured out how to play it. As far as melee matchups go, I actually like it. As far as like popular melee matchups go. Like I'll take a Darius over a Trox or Fiora any day. Darius is really tricky if you mess up, though. Like, the lane is pretty volatile, I would say. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, if you just play off Ignite, if you just only go for all ins when you have Ignite, you should win. Especially if you land your E. Like, right now, I'm just playing a chill because we got Ignite coming up in 30 seconds. And, like, maybe Flash as well. Oh, really? I was trying to get my shotgun proc. It's feeling like he's not really scared to fight, so I'm kind of thinking Hecarim's up here. Look at the way he just started playing. I think I can 1v2, though. Oh, that's a kill for sure. That's actually so nice. We did kind of a late pull on the grinder, so it made him flash. I love when that happens. Is it always best to insta ignite him? I think if you know you can kill, yeah. Like if you have your grinder up and you know you can kill, you have some shotguns up. Ignite should be like one of the first things you drop in the combo. Oh, I'm so dead. Dang, if we got that blast gun correctly, we actually probably could have got out. Maybe, I don't know. It would have been close. I shouldn't be going for Gromp there. That's a super greed play. We have good vision boss side, and we see that his jungle's down. That's super greedy of me. That was a little bit autopilot, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, to answer your question, I would. you don't want to do it near the end of the fight. Like, if he's really tanky, maybe, maybe get him chunked down to, like, 70% first, but... If you're going for, like, an Olin with ER, like, if you know your E's gonna land, if you know your E's gonna land, then you know your R's gonna land, then just, like, drop Ignite as you're doing E, is what I would say. Hey, good to see you, Gifted. It's going pretty good, man. First game of the day is going pretty well so far. Looks like the team is doing pretty good as well. They're doing really good, actually. Holy moly. 
I haven't really been paying much attention to my team. Yeah, the swapping position thing is really cool. That came as a surprise to me. I didn't see it in the patch notes. It's actually really nice. We got top lane push, so we should be able to fight here without losing too much. Gonna look for a grind eight. Nice, I got an assist. I'll take that. Trista's going bot. We should just go for Shelly. Yeah. Good call, good call. I'm hoping if I push mid, they send somebody to answer mid, just to buy a little bit more time. If they don't send anybody, then they lose a wave. Ooh, maybe I should have helped though. Okay, nice. We just have to loot it. I'm going in. Oh my god, there's a Caitlyn trap. I'm living through triumph, dude. I don't know how. Holy moly, we actually lived that. That's insane. I feel like we should have died on that play, but we'll take it. I accidentally stepped on the friggin' Caitlyn trap. Jeez. Team is going off that, man. This is nice. I've been getting some really good teams lately. I don't know what's been going on. Like, I've been getting some super good teams. Like, not only does everybody win their lane, but, like, everybody just tries. It's so refreshing to see, man. Like, a lot of the time you'll have decent teams, but there'll be, like, one person that's losing their mind and having, like, a mental breakdown. For some reason, I haven't been having that. I mean, I've, I've had a lot of that, but I guess I've had more games where we just had more games where everybody wins, I guess. Dude, if they stole that, that was actually close. I was waiting to just see the Nico cube fly over. I'm hoping my team just pressures mid here because I want to drop Shelly. There's a Caitlyn in every game in preseason. Yeah, I've been seeing her a lot. Dude, honestly, the Caitlyns haven't been doing that good though. I feel like if they lose lane, it's kind of not very good of a champ. I mean, it's okay. It's not bad. That's like the strength of Caitlyn, right? She's supposed to win lane, and then if she doesn't, she's like still okay because you can siege objectives pretty good. Like long range is always good like him. I need to stay by here. I think we're just going to go for the Shelly Force. I'm just waiting for my team to get a little bit more pressure. Could also go for an E flash on this guy. I don't want to let the wave get through here. Oh, that should be a freebie. I'm going to drop Shelly on the wave here. They're actually trying to Baron, really? Okay, we're going for bottom hip, dude. I'm going to E flash Ori. Oh, Nico's here too, though. Wait, no way they should be able to do Baron then, right? They literally have two people on it. That's a desperation. Thought their whole team was on it. Yeah, 
think I'm gonna get kited. Yeah. Honestly, I'll take it. Should be a free Baron. Let's get our Jack Show next. Actually, I don't need to go Jack Show this game, do I? Yeah, let's do a Prowler's game, dude. We don't need a tank up. I think going damage heavy is really good here. Just try to kill everybody. Song is from Shante Risky's Revenge. I love this song, dude. I've been wondering what it's from. I never played that game. Anybody play that game? I think it's super old school. I think it was a little bit before my time. One of my favorite OSTs, though. Pog Prowlers. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ham this game, dude. I'm either gonna go ham or we're gonna die. Either way, I'm going all in. Yeah, let's go deal with this Darius real quick. It's honestly good to be pushing top right now. That's what I should be doing. Kind of just hovering there in case there's a fight, but yeah, that my, my team is pretty good right now, even without me. It's better to side land. I get to see a Zen pipe. Uh, Revenus is already nerfed. I, I can't tell if I can't tell you for sure if it'll be a thing. I'm gonna try it in some matchups. I feel like there's some matchups like I went Cleaver this game because Darius is kind of sketchy. Oh man, I'm gonna get kited. I gotta try to go in. Wow, that actually ran out. Man, Ori's the one person I can't deal with until I get Prowlers. But yeah, it's hard to say if Ravnus first will still be a thing. I think it will in most matchups, though, to answer your question. Like, for me, it's going to be matchup dependent. If it's a matchup where I think I can win early and they don't have, like, a ton of true damage burst. Then I'm gonna build it still. But if it's somebody like Camille or Darius, Garen, Chogath, like these type of burst champs, I don't think I wanna build it first and just have no HP. But damage wise, it's still the same, so I, I still think it's gonna be really strong. Personally. Dude, I feel like we should just group mid actually now. They got open mid. Yeah, we'll be playtesting Ravenous. If it feels bad, then I'll probably just do Cleaver into Ravenous. Because Cleaver first still feels really good. Like, that never felt bad to me. And nothing has really changed. Dude, I don't want to go against Ori, man. They're always sending reverse me. It's like not even joining the team fight, she's just splitting versus me. Nice, got the calculation. I should have feared Ori. This 
time we got a Preller's Claw. Easy peasy. Nice, dude. Good lane, good team. 